Today we are doing some work with addition problems, and here we have 8 plus 3. Maybe you know that one pretty quickly already, or maybe, like me, you've got lots of addition facts memorized. 4 plus 4 is 8, that comes to the tip of my tongue. But suddenly when I get into numbers, the answers that add up to more than 10, I get a little confused sometimes. So we're going to practice that today. One way to think about this is on the number line. And to think about this problem on the number line, you'd start at 8, and then you'd move 1, 2, 3, and you'd end up at 11. So that's 8 plus 3 more, and you get to 11. I usually don't have a number line handy, um, so sometimes that's not the best method for me. And another way that we're often told to think about it is a group of 8 and a group of 3, and then you could just count all these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and that would equal 11. But that's a lot of counting. Like I've got to use more, more than two hands worth of fingers to get to 11. So here's a shortcut that I end up using in my head all the time. I take that three, that second number, and try to break it down into something else. And I know pretty quickly, pretty easily, that two plus one is, is three. So that's the same as that. But I also know that eight plus two is 10. That's automatic for me. So really, eight plus three, I can think of as eight plus two plus one, which is 10 plus one or 11. And that makes it a little bit easier for me. So you might want to try that trick yourself if that helps. Let's let's try one together. So 7 plus 8. Let's see. To get to 10 from 7, I would need 3 more. And 8 would be 3 plus 5. So I could rewrite this as 7 plus 3 plus 5. And I'm going to look at it like that. The answer is automatic. That is 15. So that is a little bit of work with addition.